right we're on day two of our universal adventure right i got up late i woke up at about eight o'clock and everyone was dressed and heading out the door so i'm meeting them there at um i think it's islands of adventure so last night i was we were all tired um if you follow me on social media um i, I, I probably haven't had any sleep in the last two days probably about four hours sleep it's really bad nights i've been excited about this holiday or what but the plan is now i'm going to do it downstairs maybe get a coffee and then get on the bus and meet them at alan's adventure so please follow us see what we get up to today another another lovely sunny day Yeah, the weather was a bit bad yesterday. Um, the morning wasn't so bad, but the afternoon it starts to really chuck it down. But uh, looks lovely today. The weather is supposed to be picking up, so hopefully for a good one. Got the bus all to myself. It's um, it's twenty past nine, so I reckon everybody else is at the park. Well, yeah, I'm sort of king of the bus. Security's waiting. Rendus. Actually, ended up doubling back and having to queue from the main car park, but it's heaving. There's quite a lot of school groups as well, so I just need to find where they are. They said they're on a rad, but they haven't told me what park. So I'm aiming for Islands out of Adventure, which I'm sure that's where they said they were meeting us. We'll have to see, but it's going to be a busy day, I think. Well, I made it in. Very busy. Right. Need to wait till the family get off whatever ride they're on and then tell me where they are. And if, if they're actually in Ireland's Adventure. Hopefully they are. I don't think Zeus Landing will ever really appeal to me. I know a lot of people like it, but... And I'm walking through it on my own. Feels a bit like a nightmare. Right. Don't know if that's a shortcut. To wherever I'm going. Some found out. Poor Samuel turned round this morning apparently and informed him he's really looking forward for Poseidon's adventure. It closed about two weeks ago, so he's very disappointed. Sarah's dulcet tones somewhere. I can hear her angelic voice through the crowds. 
There she is. Hello. Just got recognised. Did you? <laughs> it was a nightmare. I don't know I'm um, security. You go up the escalator and then you turn right and it was right up to the car park and then doubling back on yourself. So they've got a little... There's more over there. Insects There's like little beetles and um, little baby scorpions and stuff. Have you only been on the one ride then? Yeah, it said it was a 15 minute wait and then it turned out to be 35. People were just getting off the ride. So yeah, it's going to be busy. Oh, they've got that um, Dino Dino. I like that. Not that it's it's a bags, but... Like that, I think, like. How much is it? Uh, $82. <laughs> 84? 82. Oh, 82. And we just noticed that she's got a necklace on that you got when you was... Oh, uh, it's 15 years ago, I was five. Yeah. So it's a bit short now, but... It was our first ever visit, wasn't it? Yeah. To Florida. And they're still selling it. And I was thinking, you know, oh, maybe do I get an updated one? But I was like, nah. No. Like one. But got then I got this one to kind of match with it now. So I got something. Yeah. But it's... So just having a bit of a chill now while Samuel and Sarah are downstairs. My mum got some art. Oh yeah, just get that out because that's so cute. I think that's going to go in the Harry Potter bar, isn't it? Um, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I love that. There was loads in the um, Halloween shop. They didn't have the bag I wanted though. Didn't they? Yeah, we might find it. I'm looking hot topics, I might get a lounge fly from there. Yeah, you saw lounge fly. Uh, how much was that lounge fly you saw? It was a haunted mansion lounge fly for the anniversary, I think, of it opening. It was twenty dollars. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's an amazing price, isn't it? Hopefully they've got them still. Didn't actually think you got them in small waterways, but we've just in Universal now, Al's Adventure. And we've just found, if you look really closely, in the water, there's a crock. Oh, there is, yeah, look. There's two of them. I wonder if they're a couple, I wonder if they're a pair. Wow. <laughs> we've got quite a lot of skulls in our living room and I would love them they'd look they'd look brilliant in our room wouldn't they because we're quite uh, obviously I've seen some of our social media we're quite gothic -y. <laughs> 45 minutes for Kong I do like these popcorn buckets.
and then the wings flap. Let me turn it. Yeah, she'd love that. She'd probably dry up it. We're going to see if we can get into the pass holders lounge because obviously we're entitled to that now. So I'll show that, but I don't know if we're allowed guests because obviously Samuel and Amy are annual pass holders. But we'll have to see. Right, see if we can get in. Annual pass holders merch. Quite a nice lounge, isn't it? I thought it was com complimentary drinks and snacks. Didn't you? I could have swore I read it was complimentary food. All the pass holder pins. Yeah, we've just got our magnets. She's doing the tattoos again. <laughs> that was charming. Just started the vlog. Oh, was she sorry? No, tattoo. Right, we've just left the park because um, we're going to go for something to eat at Hard Rock. Because um, Amy is meeting uh, an American friend this afternoon and I think she's spending tomorrow with her as well. So she won't be eating with us today. Um, and then we'll just play it by ear from there. But we've, we've been to the Pass Holders Lounge um, at Anne's Adventure. We always thought, we thought we'd seen that you get complimentary drinks and snacks, but there was nothing. Just merch and... Um, free magnet. Yeah, free magnet. Which, but no, nah, that's fine. I, th I don't know if there's another Pass Holders Lounge at Universal, is there? So, but we're quite, up to now, quite impressed with the Pass Holders because it saved us getting tickets for our trip in September and the kids have been buying stuff and we've been getting the discount and how much discount do we get from through Hard Rock? Supposedly 15% so that's right. Yeah, so 15% is oh, all right, yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to nip into Hard Rock so we'll see what we decide to eat there. Have arrived. Sarah's got a lager, I've got a blue moon, Amy's got something that looks very tropical, of course it's not alcoholic because she's not allowed here, what is that? Can you remember? Uh, mango berry cocktail. Mango berry, Samuel's got a very strong whiskey sours. Whiskey sours. It is strong, yeah. If you it, strong, strong. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just waiting for the burgers to come now. Well, I've ordered a burger, a cheese and bacon burger. Samuel's ordered... Serve and turf. Serve and turf. I've ordered a salad. Sa I'm very healthy today. Ooh. I've eaten some pizza for two days. What have you ordered? Um, a chicken and a salad blackberry. So, we'll see what they look like when they come. Food has arrived. That is the burger. I do like the switchblade knife. Seen it, Samuel? That is the chicken, no that is, that's the steak, bacon, cheeseburger. Sarah's got the chicken salad, that same is flatbread, and that's Samuel's very rare serpentine. Uh, serpentine. You lovely jubbly, nom nom nom. 
honestly don't think you can go wrong at Hard Rock. We've never had a bad meal there. So we've also got our uh, our glasses, souvenir glasses. Um, we're gonna. We're, it's the annual pass holders lounge uh, preview of the tribute store, isn't it? Um, so we're gonna nip across there. Hopefully, we'll be able to. Why was the lounge thrown into that conversation? Was it lounge? I don't know. I've had too many of them um, cocktails. But yeah, yeah it's it, Jurassic. Um, <laughs> yeah, go on, go on. I've got too many cocktails. It's a tribute store for Jurassic Park, and it's open to annual pass holders. It's past one in the afternoon. Well. From twelve o'clock. So we're going to see if we can get in. If I can film it, I might do a live stream on our channel, such you might have already seen. Um, but. If not, but it'll be worth seeing and uh, tell you what we think of it. It's been a disaster. We have a dead dinosaur. Stream. I'm not sure how good it'll be of the the tribute stuff. Um, did it on the mobile phone, so it might not be the best quality, but I'm sure you've probably seen that. Apologise if it's a bit naff. So now we're gonna have a little bit of a wander. Amy's left. She's gone to see a friend um, who's come from another part of Orlando to meet up with her. So um, don't know what we're gonna do now, but I'm sure we'll show it. I had. Uh... I was sat down there trying to keep shaded. Yeah. Next thing he had a weird voice said, Oh, you the Uber Eats guy. And it was Shaggy poked his head out the door and asked if I was looking for the food for him. Oh, that would be so funny if you went down the road. And here we've got Rick. Hey, hey. Hey, Rick. Yeah, I tend not to listen to his food reviews anymore after that uh, Giro. Wasn't the most pleasant experience. Right, bone stunt. Tech spec I can never get that right. It's yeah, but we're doing this again because it has to be done. But no filming, so I'm not going to be showing you anything once in here. But I only su strongly suggest if you come to Orlando, you've got to see this show. Yeah, again. The Bone show, fantastic. So Samuel's first time, he thought he absolutely loved it. We're um, now gonna go and have a quick drink at Margaritaville, and then I think we're just gonna head back and stay by the pool and decide what we're gonna do this evening. But it's been a total contrast weather-wise, hasn't it, today? Oh, can I interrupt and ask, do you want a decorate that Tuesday? No. Margarita. I want a margarita, margarita and I'll tell you why because I want to nick a few of the beer mats for our bar. So it's yeah, I've decided already. I've got menu. Yeah. I'm going to have five o'clock somewhere. Oh, there's water from there. Oh, yeah. Right, Samuel has ordered a perfect margarita. Perfect margarita. Sarah's got the flight. I'll tell you what's on the flight. Well, I'm going to have to keep talking because it's Jimmy Buffett, so it's going to be copy ridden. I got myself a five o'clock somewhere cocktail. So I've got a, who's to blame? Who's to blame? A wildberry margarita. Wildberry margarita. A mango margarita. Mango. And a watermelon margarita. Yay! And it's all going to go to crap after these. Yeah, it's all going to go to crap.
fancy Chinese so I've suddenly got an anchoring for Peking duck. What has four legs, four arms and has had far too many margaritas? Those guys. <laughs> this evening we are enjoying the delights of Panda Express. A la carte. What, do you know what a la carte means, Samuel? I don't have any plates. Because you were dragged up. Everybody's leaving. It's been raining, so should be quiet, man. Just step. Ooh. Time's been coming to Florida, we've never had orange chicken and everyone raves on about it and it's we're big fans Thank now. You. So that is our Panda Express. You don't think you can go wrong, can you? Do you? Then, what is it? It's a cream cheese rangoon or something. Right. You can't go wrong with Panda Express. And then we're using our annual pass discount as well. So that's coming handy, isn't it, this trip? Starving. Gonna finish today's vlog now, because we're very tired. It's, it's bedtime, it's quarter to ten. Um, and we've had a... Yeah, the, is it Friday? So yes, we're um, going to retire into our room, watch a bit of Comedy Central, and then go to sleep. So thank you for staying with us. If you have done, uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. Bye bye for now.